Hello everybody, this is Sparky. Welcome back to this here Sparky only situation. We are going to start off this episode with what we tried to end the last episode with. And that is trading in our orbs to our dear beloved uncle. Bye -bye. Nice. And with that, we're gonna start the episode proper. And hopefully the game won't decide to end it on us again. Honestly, that's the first time I ever encountered Jack and Daxter freezing like that. In recent memory, anyway. The entire last playthrough I ended up doing it never did anything like that. And I don't really remember it ever doing that beforehand, either. It's really weird. But at least it decided to stop working at an appropriate time. Probably just encountered an issue with loading uh, the area. Jack and Dexter was actually one of the, I think, first full 3D games to do this big overworld without a lot of loading screens or loading time in between. Not visual loading time or anything, there's no traditional loading screens. There are a couple disguised ones when it changes areas. But either way, we're gonna. Where is it? Oh, why isn't it telling us? We're getting the orbs for this area. There it is, the Forbidden Jungle. We got a lot to do here. There's eight power cells, seven scout flies, of course. And 150 precursor orbs, of which we've already collected four. Here's the weird thing. The ones on the bridge count towards the forbidden jungle, but the ones below the bridge that we got down there last time, those counted towards the village, so I don't really know how that works. But anyway, we've got a lot to do, and we've got to get to it. First spot, pungent snakes. Always satisfying. This is the first actual, like, level area of the game, with a lot to get. And we're gonna try to get everything done pretty systematically. Since I have played this game in its entirety not too long ago. Oh, well, even though I've already taken a hit. I do remember it a lot better than I did with the last playthrough. And there is a lot to do. Uh, how do I get up there? Let's just try this. Oh. Not quite. I guess I can just high jump. Gotta fight off some frogs, get us some precursor stuff. And head up here. First things first. We're gonna be getting these orbs. Oh, and I fell. But yeah, this is the precursor what's it that the mayor was telling us about that's being diverted away from the village. And without it, the village has no power. So we're gonna take care of that first. Oh, I missed that last little blob. I needed that. But yeah, uh,. The way I tend to play games, I tend to play them a little, uh, what's the word? Haphazardly? Nah, that's not quite it. Uh, I play them like a nut. You should see the crazy stuff I do in Super Mario Sunshine. Maybe we'll get to that game someday. But before we actually redirect the power being back to the village, we're gonna borrow the blue eco power. And we're gonna use it to open this door and grab us a power cell. Turn me while I adjust my mic a little. And there we go. Hmm. Should I? I think I'm gonna. Yeah, we're gonna leave this for another time and grab another charge of Blue Eco. 
because we're going to be heading into that complex right, right about now. Probably not... Oh, wait, there's a charge thing over here. I forgot about that. Oh, well. This is definitely not the way the game wants you to do things. But it is the way that's going to make things go a little faster and easier here. Get those orbs later. And get in this here precursor fortress type deal. And take a quick jog around here because there's some hidden goodies for us, including a scout fly. Oh yeah, that's the basically one spot, one time you can break open scout fly crates without slamming down on them, and that's when you've got blue eco. I think another eco color can do it too, actually. But I will get to that when we get to that. And grab that. And jump! I love that. Basically, I got a chain of racing up the tower going here with the blue eco. And we don't need that last elevator. We got a power cell. Ow! Oh. And into the fortress we go. Mike keeps moving. So inconsiderate of it. The lovely people need to hear my beautiful voice. Yeah, so we got a precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us! Uh, we weren't trying to do that, Dex. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a work here to do first. Shouldn't take us that long, though. We are gonna need that launcher in a second. Oh, Jack, double jump, please. Thank you. Some... I don't know if it's my controller, but sometimes the jumps stick a little. Probably my controller. This is a used PlayStation 2 that I got from a friend. Rather generously, too. All it cost me was buying him lunch for a week. Anyway. Power cell. And we have hit this precursor switch and unplugged those blue eco vents. She says the other eco vents, but I think there's only one other switch in the game that you need to open like that. But now that we've opened all these eco vents, we can make use of this launcher and grab ourselves a bunch of power orb cells, uh, eggs. I am not going to remember a lot of the names of things in this game, probably. I say I love it so much, but I constantly confuse the names. Ah, well. Ow. Oh, there we go. That egg is having a field day. Uh, Dax, you... You, you mind grabbing that for me? No? Okay. And there's your first game over, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there's really not any game overs in Jack and Dexter. Oh, there I go. There's really not any game overs in Jack and Dexter. There's just respawn. Oh, there I go. <laughs> Oh boy. See, this is my fa this is on that's honestly my favorite part of doing projects like this is because you get to see the hilarious failure with me. Hey there, giant scary plant monster. You're the source of all those vines around the forbidden jungle, and taking care of you will get rid of them pretty qu easily. Oh, Got to get rid of your uh, little spiny dudes there while they're unspined, and then you give us a convenient platform to punch you punch you in the face. That's very nice of you. It's hard to come by considerate bad guys these days. I mean, you go and fight Bowser, and he doesn't even let you punch him. You've got to run under him, you've got to spin him around, he doesn't let you behind him. 
You gotta fight him while he's taking a bath? What kind of bad guy that makes you fight him by take while he's taking a bath? I mean, really. Anyway, three swift punches, and our first little boss fight here is down. And what do you know, he vomits up a power cell for us. But now that we've taken him out, let's see if we can see him from here. Now that we've taken him out, ah, oh, there's none in sight. The vines that were around the forest uh, will now be withered, making progressing through these the jungle above a lot easier. But before you leave this area, we need to take care of something real quick. A very obnoxious part that uh, I forgot about. He's got some orbs in him. Yep. Just gotta get all five of the orbs he's got. Remember when I mentioned the part where it took me 20 minutes to finish getting the collectibles in an area? Yep, this was that. Very, very sneaky. I can't remember of another place like that in the game. Honestly, it's kind of a jerk move. Oh, uh, well, there I go. Hey, good night, Jack. Good night, Jack. Well, that gives us a good point to pick up again, I guess. Oh, punching frogs. Punching crates. Up for cutting snakes. Actually, I'm gonna spin him. And fish. You won't get me, fish. Oh yeah, now that we've taken care of our little subterranean adventure down there, let's say we uh, we actually take care of this here blue eco, what's it? Take that. It's actually a good idea to start taking care of that. Because now we've got a manual redirect the eco beam around the... Uh, forest area, which will lead us all over the place and let us collect more stuff. And as you can see, the vines are dead. There we go, circle to use. Really, Dax? I never would have guessed. And we've got to follow the towers. Collect stuff along the way. Oh, you. I keep think I've seen a blob of green eco lying around, but it's just the texture on the grass. Can't you see I only have one hit point in grass? Be a little more considerate. Oh, that was a bit of a frame rate lag. Or something. I don't know what that was, but it probably wasn't good for me. Please don't freeze again, game. I'm doing pretty good right now. I'm making progress. I'm going fast. Oh yeah, that's uh, kind of interesting to note too. The long jump acts as an attack. I can't really think of another game where their long jump actually does that. Uh, I have lost my way. I thought I was supposed to come down here. What? I was wrong. I think I know where to know where to go though. It's this one over here. That's actually the last one you're supposed to get. I didn't know... I don't know why. I thought I had to come down there now. 